Okay, so this is going to be probably the last episode, the final episode of uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. And I don't know how long it's going to be. It's probably going to be very, very short since the last one was 23 minutes, 25 seconds. But I think I'm going to pad out the running time by talking a little bit about what I feel about this game. Uh, of course, I say pad out, but uh, I really mean. Um, oh, there's okay. Uh, I really mean. I, I, I really want to talk in depth about it, uh, but to people, it would seem like I want to pad out the time. Uh, but it's, it's not really padding out the time. I really do respect the game, and I really. Uh, can I answer? No, I can't answer. Can I answer? No, I can't answer. Uh, and I really respect what the game developers did for the game I think it's really interesting here's the mom coming to comfort her, uh, her son in ghost form but nonetheless it's still a thought that counts Saying you can do it, man. What's he doing? I don't understand. That's cool, okay. Oh. That's cool though. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. What an adventure. What a ride. Yeah, you deserve that. You deserve you deserve a good rest, bro. After all you've been through, man. Man, the father must be devastated though. Shit, dude. Could you imagine losing your wife and then losing your son? 
That's crazy. I wonder how he feels though. That shit is crazy though. That shit is absolutely crazy though. But it's so beautiful. I'm just running alone. There is no. No? There was a one night only thing? Okay. Just running with flowers? No. Oh, okay. Why are you walking, man? You can run? I mean, you can run. It's a bridge, you know. Oh, shoot. I mean, he has to know. I was just thinking, like, ah, oh, shit, he knows. But, like, he has to know. How are you gonna hide this from the father? Literally impossible to hide a body or like a brother from your 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 dad, you know. But I'm pretty sure if like the big brother were to lose the little brother, he would have been very angry with the big brother, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be very, very devastating. What is this epic movie? Epic, epic movie music. The game's over. And that's all for the game. Um, so yeah, I think it was a very interesting game to say the least. Um, I take it as very much the coming of age story, right? Where you set off to find, you know, it's it's a quest story for sure. Like you you start off with the big brother and the little brother moving to towards the goal which is the tree of life that they have to find um and uh, along the journey you meet people who represent bits and pieces of their life i would say um like i i think of the old troll ogres that they saved uh, in the first section of the game as a young young couple version of their mom and dad you know they're helping a lot they're helping them along their quest to find the tree of life and then when you move to the second uh, section where you know you you really have to uh you know survive on your own where the brother has to help the little brother the, the big brother has to help out the little brother and you know it's tough because you don't know you don't know where to go you don't know who to, who to trust so you just keep on trucking along and then you meet you meet this girl and for for the big brother of course you're gonna have uh teen, teenage hormones that are gonna be you know driving your every decision you know as a guy i don't deny that you know sometimes just puberty hits your heart and like it, 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 like your your brain kind of just shuts off for a minute and then you, you're kind of you know trusting your 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 dick instead so you know it's 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 kind of weird like guys have three brains like one one is our brain brain one uh, the other one is the heart brain and then the uh, the third one is the sex brain so the dick brain so i think it's very much <clears throat> 
that you know he, he for me personally i think it's more of like uh, a motherly love kind of thing i think it is it's more of that and then he projected it on the girl and then it's it's you know it's it became a blooming love kind of thing but of course you know uh the little brother was not wrong like i i, I kind of suspected it too like she she knew exactly how to hide from the abominable snowman or the invisible abominable snowman and like that's kind of very suspicious and the way that she jumped across the chasms i was like okay this is not this is not something a human should be able to do right so you move on into the uh final section where you know they get betrayed by the uh girl and i i you know it's one of those things where you're like you you expect it to happen but like not that devastatingly and then you know it's just one of those things that i think that if you were to tell me that you know i will i will feel emotional for the little brother i wouldn't because like it's it's that kind of thinking right like i'm the little brother so like i don't i don't know if like my older siblings would feel like bad for me and so to say it's, it's it's kind of hard to see your older sibling like really really stick out for you in in a way i i don't know about other people but in my experience it's it's more of because i'm the only boy and i never really had a brother maybe if i had i would i would tell you a different story but i don't so you know it's just one of those things and when i when i speak about the journey of you know coming of age it's more of the little brothers uh coming of age story because you know you start off with the little brother and he's mourning his his mother's death and then you know it, it sets up the story that uh you know he's still a young boy and he's he's still scared of the world uh he just lost his mother and then you know they go on the journey and then he loses his, his big brother so like where do you go really go from there because it's just one of the things where you know you've lost particularly almost everything in your life and all you have left is technically your father but even then like you know it's just it's gonna be a different dynamic because it's a father and son dynamic you know like you don't have your your brother to kind of you know feed off of that i guess you know discussion about like oh like your day like sibling talk and 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 um parent talk is is very very different so it's, it's just one of those things that don't really coincide i mean we we try our best to coincide it but i don't think it's possible because just because like it's very hard to see the older person as as a friend or as a, as a cohort so and I, and i'm talking like a big age age gap here not really the not really like five years ten years i i re i say big age gap but my big age gap meaning it would be like maybe 20 to 30 years apart so i think that's that's a pretty fair assessment on how far apart the gauge age gap should be shit my my brain is dying my brain is shutting off here uh but i really wanted to say like this story also like the owl thing i think for me personally i think that was like their their spirit guardian kind of thing where it's kind of like it got hurt because you know it's still in grieving but i think the owl creature came back in the end because like he knew instinctively or like by a bright product of maybe the the palm spirit that the little brother would need the owl spirit in that instance in that moment and the way they structured the final act was really interesting for me because i think like they were going going for more of the like okay like he's he's gonna do it but like he needs to pull inspiration from his now like dead mother and his dead big brother so like 
because they did things together like you the the section is like still playable with the left hand side because normally it's the left hand side and the right hand side when the brother was still, the big brother was still alive um and yeah you know like it was really interesting to see like him overcome his fear of just swimming like that's that's one of the things i think maybe the 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 mother died while swimming or something like she must have died in the sea or something like that and then you know moving forward you know the way he climbed up the um and broke a ladder was an interesting thing as well because normally they would they would climb it with the help of each other so you know it's, it's one of those things um and i guess it's it's building that kind of codependency kind of thing and then like what do you do when you don't have the thing that you depended on all the all those years and then you know it's just yourself what do you do like you still persevere you still go you still go and try your very best but there's always going to be something missing from your life and i think that's that's an important message from the game and as well as like you are not entirely alone you are still remnants of your past that you can use to further in your life and then you know you, you can be better and it's just one of those things and i think that has it been really talked about and I think of this game and I, I got this game just because like I wanted to try it and then I, I didn't do the recording of it. I definitely did finish it uh, the first time around as well. So this is my second finish of the game. So um, I guess this is all a replay uh, then in that case. But uh, like personally for me, I never really did any content about it because um, the my old laptop really lagged and... I, I know like some parts I don't really remember because it just didn't stick out to me and then you know I think that this is a visually stunning game and don't get me wrong but like there's some parts where it's so visually stunning and like I, I was like oh, okay why didn't I remember that again and, I, and then I remember like oh yeah because my laptop was laggy as fuck and I couldn't really enjoy the environment so now that I can enjoy the environment and now that I can fully experience the game properly I think it's, it's so much more important than like how am I going to rephrase this playthrough because I have played this game till the end it's just not recorded or not really played on this channel before like I mean I played the first few minutes of it but i never really finished the game and recorded it so to say this is my first time finishing the game and recording it at the same time so um but yeah i think that this game is just average for me the storyline especially because it's it's very predictable and i i think that you know it's such a simple story But it is, sorry, I just yawned there, but it is one that I think is quite interesting to, to see happen because it's, it's, a, it's a lot of, of themes about, you know, sibling dynamism, like, you know, how they interacted with each other, how they're very codependent on each other. Whenever they were too far apart, you couldn't move you couldn't move one or the other or one had to move closer to the other to move the other one so it's kind of that sibling bond that you know never really leaves you kind of thing um on the aspect of the fantasy side of it i do really like the giant section of this game i really love i really love that section i don't know why i thought I needed a, a, a shield in that section, I don't I don't really remember why, uh, but I do remember having to move the 
limbs of the giant who who were dead because of the war and all that i, I do remember blowing the horn but i i don't remember how i did it uh so i didn't do it i don't i didn't do it in this version uh but maybe i don't know maybe i'll about to an easter egg or something i don't know um but yeah i think that you know the whole tree of life thing aspect of it is is part of the uh, fantasy side of it and it's more of like the dad you know getting uh, probably a second giants at life and you know during the second chance at life you know he lost and he lost his firstborn son and that must be so devastating because like he just lost his 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 his, his wife like i said like his first love so i don't know i don't know how he's gonna cope with that especially since you know the ending he, he really really like broke down and, and cried so that's there was something you don't really want to see from your dad right like even even like the little brother was very very uncomfortable and didn't know how to how to react in that case because you don't know how to console like someone who is grieving and like grieving twice over especially you know but like i think this game for me i i would rate it maybe a seven six i don't think i can give it an eight because like it's it's a hard game to play especially since you're not ambidextrous uh you definitely kind of need someone else to play with you just because i'm not i'm not ambidextrous and i'm not left brain right brain i am left brained only so you know it's one of those things um but yeah i think this game is just visually pleasing so i guess that kind of bumps the rating a little bit higher for me so my final rating would be seven uh just because of the visuals uh storyline wise it really brings it down and gameplay wise it, it really brings it down just because it really isn't supposed to be single player it is supposed to be co-op and if you guys know anything about me i don't really like co-op games because i don't have anyone to play with so there you go uh, but yeah that's about it for this video i've yapped i've yapped enough so i feel really tired as well my brain is shutting off um but yeah i'm signing off and i hope to see you guys in another video obviously i'm trying to see if there's new games that i can buy so i can play for you guys but if you have any suggestions of which games i need to buy or need to play please let me know if you want me to continue any reaction videos please let me know i will try my best to do it but if i do i won't be uploading it to youtube i'll probably be doing the redirects again uh, just got a new camera uh, probably gonna try that out and see how it goes but the background is just still as bad as it, bad as it was uh, when I first did videos so uh, yeah that's about it guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video goodbye